Hi, I'm ready to teach you how to determine percent mass by thermal gravimetric analysis. It sounds cool. Um, let me go ahead and give you the basic steps of what you're going to do. You're first going to get a crucible and lid and weigh it. So let's say that this is your mass. And then you're going to get a mixture. And in this particular experiment, I am using a mixture of a sodium, sodium hydrogen carbonate, a sodium bicarbonate with a potassium chloride. But for now, let's just say that I have a mixture I'm interested in the sodium bicarbonate and it's with some other inert substance um, that is not going to react or melt um, at the temperature that this will decompose. Okay, um, So we take the mass of the mixture with the crucible and lid, here we have it, and then you start heating it. This is a hurry up and wait lab, so the faster you can weigh everything and get going, the better. You're going to cook it for 15 minutes, let it cool for 10 minutes, weigh it. Cook it again for another 15 minutes, let it cool for 10 minutes, weigh it again. Notice, big difference here, we have about 0.3 grams, and here it's still another big difference, we have 0.1 gram uh, difference. You want to heat it until um, you come to what's called a constant mass um, that is only the significant figure that's changing, which would just be uh, the guess for the scale. So you wait a, a third time, so heat it a third time, 15 minutes, cool it 10 minutes, weigh it, we're at a constant mass. Um, notice that we're at the thousands place, so that would be our guess, the significant figure at the thousands place. Um, now, from that, that's really all you're doing. You are getting an initial mass, cooking, 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 so that all the gas evaporates out, this decomposes, the gas is gone, um, and then you get a final mass, that's it. Notice um, these two math problems. You're going to find the mass of the mixture. So you're going to take your initial mass of crucible, lid, mixture, and subtract that final mass um, right here, or excuse me, and subtract the mass of just the crucible and lid. That's how much mixture you started with, okay? So we started with a mixture of 1.236. Then what we're trying to figure out, well, is how much gas, what's the mass of the gas that was released? Um, so you're going to take um, the mass of the crucible lid mixture and subtract it from that final heating the difference is the amount of gas, is the mass of the gas that's released. Okay, so data collection, that's it. As far as experimentation, you heat, cool, way, Heat, cool, way, heat, cool, way. That's all you do in this experiment. Now, the math is a little involved, so let me show you the math. Um, here is our reaction. It's the decomposition of a sodium bicarbonate into sodium carbonate and carbon dioxide and uh, water. So there's the gas that's being evaporated. Now, ultimately, here's the question. What is the percent mass of sodium bicarbonate in that mixture? What's the percentage of sodium bicarbonate inside of that 1.236 grams? Okay, that's the powder I put in the crucible. How much of that, what percent mass, is the sodium bicarbonate? So this is how you do it. First, we're going to assume that we have a one gram sample of sodium bicarbonate. And notice the stoichiometry, I'm going to determine the mass of the CO2, and then again, take my one gram, assuming a one gram sample of sodium bicarbonate, find the um, mass of the water. Now, if I add those two masses together, the 0.2196 grams of uh, CO2, the 0 0.1072 grams of water, add that together, that gives me for one gram, okay, for one gram of sodium bicarbonate, it is going to lose 0 0.3691 grams of gas. We have a ratio. Now, I wanna come back here just to make sure you're okay with the stoichiometry. One gram sodium carbonate, bring that to moles, and then I use the molar ratio, I call it to walk the bridge. Two moles of sodium bicarbonate are going to uh, produce one mole of CO2, and then bring CO2 from moles to grams, that's how I got that 0.2619 grams of CO2. Same thing with the water, okay? Except this ratio, two moles of sodium bicarbonate to one mole of water. Okay, so we have this really important ratio. One gram of sodium bicarbonate is going to release, evolve 0.3691 grams of gas total, okay, total gas. So I write my ratio right here. One gram of sodium bicarbonate releases the 0.3691 grams of gas. Then I come over here. Well, in my situation, it released 0.365 grams. So I can just set this up as a ratio and say, what was the original mass of the sodium bicarbonate? Uh, multiply both sides by the 0.36 and we find out that in this mixture, okay, in this mixture right here, it contained 0.989 grams 
of sodium bicarbonate. So to find the percent mass, I just take the mass of the sodium bicarbonate divided by the total mass of the mixture. The 0.989 divided by the total mixture, which was 1.236 times 100, 80%. That was that mixture right here that I said in there, that on 1.236, 80% of that was sodium bicarbonate. So you can look at the math, digest it, rework it yourself, take your problem that you're going to be doing uh, with thermogravimetric analysis, um, and you can apply this. You can juxtapose it into your situation. Notice the principles of what I did. I assumed a one gram sample to find the total mass of gas released that created a ratio. And then once I had the mass of the gas I had released in my experiment, I could find the mass of that particular substance in the mixture. So easy experimentation, physical experimentation, the math, uh, chew on it. You have to create um, a ratio using, assuming one gram of your substance, total mass of gas, use that ratio to find your unknown. It'll be great. Good to go. All right, if you have other questions on labs, anything with uh, chemistry, check out my playlists. Um, you can go to labs, lean think. Thanks so much, have a good day.